What's up guys? Welcome to another video with your buddy the Roller Coaster Crafter. And today I'm going to show you another little tutorial and this and today's tutorial is going to be based on inversions. So obviously all inversions are different. You have different types. You have like zero G rolls that like we have right here or you have like a zero G stall or you have loops, but they all pretty much work the same way on how you construct them. You just have to there's a few techniques that I use um, for each inversion and I'm going to show you kind of those techniques on how I use them and how I'm able to get each uh, each inversion very stable and also make it look smooth and clean. So I'm going to show you how, how that's pretty much done. So right here we have this uh, zero G roll on wildfire. This is the final version on it. So um, the way I do inversions is basically what I'll do is I'll come from the starting point, build it all the way to the end point so all the way to where I want it to end so as you can see it starts right over there and then I will build like spinal track and track all the way to the end point on where I want it to end and then twist it I'll twist it 360 degrees and then I will find like the points where it twists and as you can see the points where it twists are like here here like where and that's where you hit 180 degrees and there so I kind of find the main um, like the points like the main points when it turns 90 degrees then 180, then 270, and then once it hits full 360, I then just attach it at its end point. So once you find where, where those degree marks hit on the track, I will then stabilize it. So I kind of just stabilize it one at a time. Um, as you can see right here, this is kind of the 90 degree point. I will attach like pieces like this to the spinal track and then to the structure that I have. This is very just simple, you know, generic kind of box structure of connects. So once you find the point, just attach to the 90 degrees. I suggest attaching to the 180 degrees, like right here. I suggest attaching this first, and then you can attach the side angles next. That will make it kind of easier. This one's kind of based on zero zero, but it kind of works the same way for any other inversion you're doing. It, you just have to find the upside down point. I'd say attach that first, and then attach the side, um, stabilize the uh, side points, uh, these points right here, where the car will be on its side during the inversion. So yeah, that's pretty much all I, all I have for you guys for techniques on how to do an inversion, or in this case, a zero G roll. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions on this. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos as I'll keep them coming. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time on the Coaster Crafter channel. Peace.